Today's video introduces China's Dongfeng 15C missile. Is this true? China's new missile can drill dozens of meters underground and then explode. The explosive power is comparable to an earthquake, and all underground defense structures are unstoppable. Before I provide you with a detailed explanation, let's review a bit of history. In 1991, the United States launched the Gulf War. In the early stages of the Gulf War, the relentless bombing by the United States left the Iraqi forces in underground command posts helpless. The United States' response strategy was to intensify research on bunker-busting missiles, eventually successfully developing the GBU-28. In the Baghdad area of Iraq, the Ali Amir anti-aircraft cave, the United States dropped two giant bunker-busting bombs, with the first one opening a gap in the anti-aircraft cave, followed by the second one directly entering the cave causing a massive explosion that left thousands of civilians permanently inside the anti-aircraft cave. In 1999, internal strife occurred in the Southern Alliance, and the United States dispatched two B-2 Spirit stealth bombers quietly over Europe, heading straight for Yugoslavia. Over Yugoslavia, the US conducted more than 40 bombings, dropping over 1,200 bombs. However, one aircraft dropped five bombs near the Chinese embassy in Yugoslavia, including a bunker-busting bomb. This bunker-busting bomb pierced the Chinese embassy in Yugoslavia without deviation, hitting the center of the embassy from the rooftop and exploding only after penetrating five floors, resulting in the immediate death of three journalists and injuries to more than a dozen people. After the bombing of the Chinese embassy in Yugoslavia, the Chinese people were deeply outraged. Large-scale anti-American demonstrations erupted across the country, with some students even directly protesting at NATO's doorstep. The then US President Clinton publicly stated that the bombing was merely an accident, primarily aimed at terrorists. The accident was attributed to the use of outdated maps by the pilots. China didn't buy into this explanation. But due to the power disparity between China and the United States at that time, the matter was left unresolved. Subsequently, China was determined to develop its own bunker-busting bomb. In 2007, China unveiled a new missile, the Dongfeng 15C, which closely resembled the Dongfeng 15. Officially named the Dongfeng 15C, this missile had a weight of only one ton. Less than half of the GBU-28, but its bunker-busting power was not halved. While the GBU-28 could penetrate 30 meters of ordinary ground, the Dongfeng 15C could penetrate 60 meters of reinforced concrete. How did China manage to reduce weight without compromising lethality? The innovation lay in combining the missile with the bunker-busting bomb and launching them together using a missile launcher. China was the first to propose and implement this concept. The Dongfeng 15C bunker-busting bomb doesn't require a bomber for delivery. It can be launched from a regular six-wheel missile launch vehicle, significantly reducing the likelihood of detection. Consider this scenario. If the enemy detects our aircraft approaching, they would likely deploy anti-aircraft artillery immediately, leading to premature discovery or even interception before reaching the destination. This risk is mitigated with missile launch vehicles. Moreover, unlike the GBU-28, which has a bulky casing to increase explosive content, the Dongfeng 15C bunker-busting bomb has a slender profile. Unlike the GBU-28, dropped from high altitudes by aircraft, the Dongfeng 15C utilizes its weight and launch height to convert potential energy into kinetic energy. The term bunker-busting in this context is merely using gravity potential to create a substantial impact on the ground. The warhead of China's Dongfeng 15C bunker-busting missile is made of tungsten alloy, known for its extremely high hardness. Coupled with the slender design of the Dongfeng 15C warhead, it operates like a needle, effortlessly penetrating any underground fortification, akin to a needle piercing the enemy's heart. 
Moreover, the Dongfeng 15C can achieve precision detonation. Even in the event of intense collision and friction with the ground, it won't explode. The missile is equipped with an advanced propulsion system, providing a range of up to 700 kilometers. Featuring advanced guidance technology, the Dongfeng 15C can easily penetrate any anti-missile system, boasting a speed of Mach 6 that makes interception by most countries challenging. The missile also incorporates infrared imaging guidance and radar guidance systems, ensuring adaptability to diverse terrains while maintaining an error margin of just 1.5 meters. The Dongfeng 15 CS dedicated carrier vehicle is outstanding, integrating transport, acceleration, and launch functions, significantly enhancing operational efficiency. This 3 in 1 vehicle is China's most advanced four axle heavy duty off road truck, equipped with an excellent platform for swift operations, cementing the Dongfeng. 15 CS unparalleled position in the field of bunker busting missiles. This concludes the main content of this episode. We hope viewers approach this information with reason. As a side note on China's development of bunker busting missiles, the process has personal reflections. The Gulf War, the US War of Dominance, shocked and awakened the world, especially China. It was a high tech war that astonished the world. The outstanding combat capabilities of the US military and the Gulf completely reshaped global perceptions of modern warfare. Simultaneously, it stimulated the development of China's defense capabilities. After this war, the United States completely disrupted the strategic pattern in the Middle East, showcased the operational methods of war in the new century, and provided a clear direction for the development of China's defense capabilities. This war propelled China's military strength to rise rapidly. When the US achieved overwhelming victory in the Gulf War, the Chinese military instantly found new impetus for reform and development. Since World War II, China's military, in terms of weapons and equipment and force development, was not comparable to major world powers. Even in indirect conflicts with Western countries, China won some small-scale wars but at the cost of hundreds of thousands of lives. To a certain extent, this reckless combat approach reflected the backwardness and inadequacies of China's military equipment. Especially witnessing the US achieve success in the Gulf War against superior numbers by seamlessly integrating high-tech capabilities across land, sea, and air forces, the Chinese military was determined to thoroughly modernize. The primary focus was on elevating the levels of science, technology, and weapon systems. At that time, due to Western countries' technological blockades, China's only option for acquiring advanced equipment was purchasing Russian fighter jets. Faced with the challenge, China embarked on a prolonged journey of independent research and development resulting in the emergence of the J-20 fighter and the turbofan engine, the shift in operational thinking was the next step. For the People's Liberation Army of China, during times of technological disadvantage, an excessive emphasis on the combat capabilities of the army existed. The guerrilla warfare strategy established during World War II was renowned worldwide. However, the dominance displayed by the US in the Gulf War highlighted the importance of gaining air superiority and executing precision strikes on ground defense systems, thereby influencing the overall control of the war. Today, China's science and technology have seen significant development, particularly in enhancing precision strike capabilities in the air. This has become a crucial aspect of China's reform and development. The transformation of the 2nd Artillery Corps into the rocket force, changing its primary function from nuclear deterrence to joint operations, reflects this shift. During this period, China achieved the development of ballistic and cruise missiles, enhancing weaponry while refining its capabilities in operational command and electronic communication systems. China has now independently developed intercontinental missiles at a world-leading level. The Air Force has formed well-structured combat formations, and China possesses aircraft carriers, various attack ships, and nuclear submarines. 
Although China hasn't had the opportunity to showcase itself on the battlefield, the military continuously innovates and develops in line with global advanced standards. The Gulf War unfolded on the plains of Iraq, showcasing the overwhelming operational advantages of the US military. This is something China can be grateful for, but it also serves as a lesson to learn from and prevent. How to avoid the risks of being drawn into war? Only through continuous self-strengthening can a country fulfill its duty to ensure the long-term safety of its people and property. The world is not entirely peaceful, and any sovereign nation has an obligation to make long-term plans for the safety of its country and people. The Gulf War was just one way for a powerful nation to deter the world. If a war were to break out in its own backyard, what China can do or achieve depends entirely on its military capabilities. At that time, the war will reshape the world, and China's role in it remains uncertain. But it is undeniable that China's present is vastly different from its past. Past.